Different Kinds of Crypto Wallets What You Need to Know With all you've heard about cryptocurrency, you may not still be clear on how to actually handle your coins and tokens. As difficult as it is to decide on how and where to store your physical money, it can be just as tricky to decide how and where to store information about your crypto. One of the many risks involved in digital money is the concern about security. Indeed, decentralization is both a blessing and a curse when it comes to cryptocurrency because you don't have the many layers provided by physical banks and governmental institutions who are guaranteeing the safety and security of your funds. With physical money, you are mostly protected from losses, barring any crazy investments in the stock market. You simply do not have those same protections with crypto. Fortunately, the market provides. When there's a demand in the consumer world, the supply appears. In this case, the demand is storage space for access to digital money. Enter the realm of crypto wallets. But before we get into that, hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on all notifications to help support our channel. Now let's jump right in. Crypto wallets are not for storing your crypto. Before we talk about what crypto wallets are and the different kinds, we must be clear on what they are not. Crypto wallets do not store your cryptocurrency. Unlike a physical wallet where you put your cash and credit cards, a place you can access in the physical world when you want to purchase something or pay for services, a crypto wallet does not store your digital money. You cannot spend your crypto straight out of your crypto wallet. The best and safest space for your cryptocurrency is in the blockchain. It is kept in blockchain technology because by its very nature, it is secured there and every single transaction, every single exchange is recorded and logged into cyberspace, completely decentralized and spread onto databases stored at multiple locations. It is a multi-layered, hyper-secure mode of storage that makes it virtually impossible for anyone to hack. And that is how you want it. The last thing you want with cryptocurrency is for it to be untraceable and easy to lose, which is exactly what would happen if you could simply store it in your own virtual wallet. Human beings are flawed. We would be misplacing our wallets, getting our wallets stolen, and the money would be gone without a trace. Crypto wallets are for storing your keys. What crypto wallets do instead is store the information you need to access your crypto. That information is called keys. Your wallet holds your keys, which you can access anytime you want in order to gain access to your crypto at its various locations, whether it's Bitcoin, Ethereum, or another form of crypto. Your crypto wallet will hold both public and private keys. Public keys. Public keys are the website locations where your crypto is held, which are available for the public to see. Remember, anyone can trace the transactions of crypto because it is decentralized. The blockchain where the crypto is stored is available to anyone on that particular crypto site. You hold your public keys in your wallet so you can gain access to that site, say Bitcoin, Ethereum, etc. Private keys. Your private keys then allow you access to use your specifically owned crypto. Only you have those keys. No one else can use them without you releasing access to them. Your wallet keeps your private keys safe and then allows you to use them when you need to gain access to your crypto. Once you have used your public key to gain access to the site, your wallet will hold many public keys, which you can give to anyone who wants to send you crypto. Your private key allows you to then use your crypto within that public space. Be aware, you can only use your wallet to send, receive, and exchange coins within the same type of crypto. You can send Bitcoin to a Bitcoin public key. You cannot send Bitcoin to an Ethereum key. Your funds will be lost if you try this. Different kinds of crypto wallets. Now, there are three different kinds of crypto wallets and each has their advantage and disadvantage. Physical wallet. A physical wallet is just what it sounds like. You can store all the codes and information for your public and private keys in an actual physical location on a physical piece of paper. Again, the dangers and risks involved here are plethora. All it takes is for you to misplace your wallet or for someone to steal it and your funds are lost forever. It is also not very user-friendly. You would have to physically type in your codes, hoping you did not make any mistakes when writing them down by hand every time you wanted to work with your crypto. Hardware wallet. The next level up from physical wallets is the hardware wallet. 
This wallet is stored on a small device like a thumb drive. The benefit here is that you would be storing your electronic information electronically, so you have much less room for error. You can also interface your hardware wallet with most computer systems. And when you remove the wallet from your computer, the information stays with you. It is not stored in any cyber database that can be hacked. The downside? You can lose it. It can be stolen, and then your funds are gone forever. Software Wallet Finally, there's the Software Wallet, which is kept on an app or a site that has its database stored on the web. There are many apps to choose from, Coinbase, Electrum, and Mycelium among them. And the best, like these three, have double password, two-factor authentication systems in place that are difficult to hack. The software wallets are also typically more user-friendly and interface with the public key crypto sites easily. The downside? Yes, of course, they can be hacked in the same way that a bank account can be hacked. So be sure you only use a software wallet that provides top-level security. In the end, crypto wallets can be a great way to store the information you need to access your crypto all in one place. You have complete ownership of your money, and when proper measures are taken, your information is highly secure. Just remember, with great power comes great responsibility. You are 100% liable if anything happens to your wallet, no matter what kind of wallet it is.